Okay, no. So we're on the fun part now, the exporting our stuff out. So what we want to do is, while in pose mode, click on the render setting, which is this little camera at the top, and you're just going to scroll down. It may be closed, so you'll have to check it if it's not. Uh, you want to check this box, this little triangle that says animation export. And we're going to make this bigger so we can focus more attention on it. There we go. Now, it asks you what mode that you want to export this out. Now, everybody in the Avastar group says that you should export it as an anim, and that gives you more control over it, blah, 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 blah. Now, I like to export as a BVH when it comes to Second Life animation because of the preview thing, and I'll show you about that when we go back into Second Life. So, um, here we have our BVH, our F FPS, which is frames per second, because it's a, a static pose, that really doesn't matter. What's really important is the start and end frame. It usually will copy whatever you have set here already, so you don't have to fill that in. But just to be safe, we're going to have it start at 1 and end at 1. And then, you know, press play real quick and check it. Yep. And then we're going to name it whatever we want it to. Uh, uh, lady like sit 1. And now we're going to hit export animation. And lady like set one BBH. I guess it's good. And then we're gonna hit export. Now we get to go over to Second Life and import it. So I'm gonna pause it real quick, load up Second Life, and I'll, we'll see you there. Okay, so I didn't manage to close Second Life <laughs> this time. Okay, so we have Second Life, daytime, and here I am. Now I'm using Firestorm with this, and I'm not sure if you can do the same thing in Singularity or whatever, but I would assume you could. So I'm just going to show you how to do it in Firestorm because I don't think I have Singularity installed in here anymore. So um, before we upload our animation, we're going to need to make a change in the Firestorm's preferences. Now what I like to do is go into Avatar Preferences and you're going to go down to where it says Firestorm and I believe Build 2. And you're going to check this box that says Preview Animation on your own Avatar during Upload. So check that box. What this does is it allows your animation to preview on your avatar instead of the little avatar in the window. Like yeah, I'm sure it, it will show as well, but you get to see like it in real time on your avatar doing it instead of assuming like, well yeah, it looks good in the preview, but how does it look there on your body? The, this helps especially if you have a tiny avatar and you're testing it out and like the second life default one is way up there and you're down here and it works so like I said that's why I like to check that box so um, now what we're going to do is our upload so we go build upload uh, animation and wherever I saved it so upload let's sit like a lady and <laughs> it just jumped for a second but it's there so we're going to press loop and i'm going to set the priority up to four uh four is the highest don't if your thing goes up to five or something like that don't do that it's going to crash your viewer four is the highest and that means it's absolute uh three priority three is like it's important but other stuff can still run with it two is like it runs but higher stuff will take presence over it and one is like why even bother so four um, I like to put it on four and then I'm gonna press play and you see my character is sitting here with her hands folded on a dress I guess I have the dress poked out a little bit more than uh, what it actually is in world maybe I gotta roll it back because it's still going there but my feet start showing through and I'm sitting down like a lady so that works out just as well um, you can change the hand positions here now these default hand positions only work on the classic second life body they don't work with the bento avatar like bento hands at all so if you're testing this stuff out and you're like why isn't it moving and you got bento hands well bento hands don't work with that so once you like what you want and you think you did a good job you can just press upload and then you'll have your file so I'm, I can sacrifice 10 now for you guys <laughs> even though I should have went over to the beta grid but I don't think I have this dress over there yet so you see now we have a sit animation for a sit pose for yourself so now that's pretty much how you do um, 
what is it called that's pretty much how you do poses and stuff like that now we can go into couple poses if you want but the process is still exactly the same you just put in another avatar and you animate your stuff together you can upload as many avatars or work on as many avatars as you want just uh, let's go back into blender just keep adding in more avatars so add avatar quads or so okay so you can just add more avatars and edit them and you can make poses all you know to the cows come home so that's it for making poses and now that you master that we can go into the fun stuff and that is animation so i'll see you guys in the next video where we actually break into how to make animations